I'd like to call the order of the Enfield Inland Wetlands Watercourse Agency meeting for Tuesday, January 16th, 7 p.m. Um, before we start roll call, I okay. do want to say we do have a new agent with us, Marcy. And how do you say your last name? Talisio. Talisio. Welcome to the team. Thank you. Yeah, glad to have you on. Um, roll call, please. Oh, and one more thing. We have um, a new recording secretary, Liz Boulay. And she'll be with us now taking notes for us. Be great. Thank you very much. Yeah. Now you can do roll call. <laughs> <laughs> Donna Corbin Savinsky. Here. Kevin Zorda. Here. Virginia Higley. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Chagnon. Absent. Um, <coughs> Jane Smith. Coming probably. Carrie Ann. Wagner Howe. Absent. Marie Pisner. Here. Kelly Himmler. Here. And Marcy Talisio. Here. Okay, and yeah. I'd like to see Marcy and Marie. As we have two members absent. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Uh, fire, e fire evacuation procedures. If there's an emergency, you need to exit the room. Please exit through the doors here. Take a, a left and go out the door and away from the building. Um, Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Public participation. Is there anybody in the audience that would like to speak regarding something not on the agenda? Is there anybody that wants to speak regarding items not on the agenda? You would? Come on forward. Uh, this is in regards to zero pain. Oh, that's no. on the well, that's on the it's being continued. Um that, no no not now. Not not, not, not yet. No. Yeah, yeah, okay. Right. In a few minutes. <laughs> if is there anybody else who would like to speak regarding items not on the agenda? Okay, thank you. Correspondence. <coughs> we did receive a couple items. Yeah. Yes, we did. Yes, we, did. <laughs> uh, we needed trucks today. Uh, one of the items was a, a letter dated December 11, 2017 from Solitude Lake Management regarding aqua aquatic pesticide permit applications. Um, and they enclosed for our information is a revised application for permits to apply aquatic pesticides to water bodies in the town. The applications are for per multi-year permits that were previously approved 2016 and 2017. The Pesticide Management Division of the Department of Energy and Environmental Protection is accepting the comments on the closed applications. The PMD is particularly interested to learn of any local conditions not specific, specified on the permit, for example, downstream use of water not indicated or conservation easements on the water body. Comments should be directed to the Pesticide Management Division, Department of Energy and Environmental Protection, 79 Elm Street, Hartford, Connecticut or by calling their phone, 860-424-3326. Uh, we also received the Connecticut Federation of Planning and Zoning Agency's quarterly newsletter, which is always interesting to read. Mm -hmm. uh, some good articles in this one. Yeah, there's yeah. some great Very articles. Very good articles. Um, we also received to save the date for the CFPZA annual conference, which is March 22nd at AquaTurf in Southington, Connecticut. Is that going to be in our budget? I don't know. That. Mm -hmm. That'd be great because it is a great conference. I know we, mm -hmm. a few of us have attended it a few times in the past. And it is a good conference. Yeah. So. yeah, we could find out. That would be wonderful. And I think that's it for correspondence. Yes. <coughs> Excuse me. Next on the agenda is the commissioner's correspondence. Uh, any comments? Mm -mm. To my right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Moving on, we have. I didn't see them actually in the packet. The approval of minutes from December 19th? They aren't in there. Uh, they aren't in the packet. Not, so. um, no. They were not ready. Okay, not ready. Okay, so we'll do them next time. Uh, next on the agenda is old business. It's um, the public hearing, which is a continuation for IW 585 King Street. Application for proposed development consisting of two buildings, 500... 225, 500, 225,000 square foot distribution building of warehouse space and office space and 100,125 100, square foot flex building, DF Realty LLC, owner applicant, map 016, lot 018. Um, we did receive a letter. 
We did receive a letter dated today um, to, to Roger O'Brien regarding this application. They're um, asking for a um, extension for 35 days uh, to allow the staff and other departments and us to actually go over the new materials that we received today. They're quite large packets, so we thank them for going for the extension. So could we have a vote on the extension? Um, I move that we um, grant them the extension to the yeah. to the meeting. <coughs> I think it's February fifth. It's our Didn't next say. February, Six. Six. February sixth meeting. It's, they <coughs> ask for a thirty-five day extension. I move that we grant that and put them on tentatively the February sixth agenda. Yeah. I'll second it. Okay. Uh, roll call, please. Donna? Yes. Kevin? Yes. Virginia? Yes. Uh, Jane? Maybe she isn't here yet. Uh, Mary? Marie? Yes. Kelly? Yes. Marcy? Yes. Six in favor. Motion passes. So this will be granted them the extension and hopefully it will be available for February 6th. Um, um, there is a gentleman in the office. Yeah, sure. To, sure, if you want to speak. Public hearing isn't really open, but. Yeah. Well, it was continued. It's continued from, from yeah. last time, so. Oh, I just wanted to let you know that uh, I live in the neighborhood. You have to My name is Michael Shaw, right. and I live at 29 Kings Court. Okay. And since the last meeting we were at, mm -hmm. he held a meeting with all the neighbors himself down at the um, Metro Park mm -hmm. in, the, in the office there. And he says, if anybody has any concerns, let them know. And I think this is what the extension was. He made some changes by some of the comments that people had all pertaining to the zoning, mm -hmm. nothing with the wetlands. Mm -hmm. you want to discuss wetlands with me, and I would not. Okay. I said, come to the meeting, and we'll discuss it. In the meantime, he's cleared, I don't know how far he goes back, all that land that, that the office building goes on, and I can't tell how far it is. He's got signs posted there, no trespassing. Uh, you get arrested if you get tr if you trespass on here. So I could only stand up and take pictures of my cell phone. At he's the gate. clearing the land? Yes, he is. I sent pictures into the planner's office. Uh, okay. Yeah, we received them today, so we'll have there you are. Up yeah. probably. Um, when I first found out, I went on to report it function of the uh, website of the town and okay. put the pictures on there. So okay. he's working without a permit, mm -hmm. and I believe there's a big pile of dirt looking out my neighbor's window in the back in the middle of the uh, street. That means heavy equipment was going on there. So I'm prepared to say that's wetlands. I have a map from the topographical uh, survey people mm -hmm. they gave me a favor and put the wetlands on it as well as the elevation and relief so we'll go over that next time on here thank you very much there thank you go so thank I'll, you for i'll pay okay. attention okay thank you <laughs> thank you very much appreciate it. thank you appreciate it and we'll follow up there you go well, this right is right and we're going to do what's right yes we will thank, thank you very much for coming and telling us okay um next on the agenda <coughs> oh wait oh somebody else i'm sorry well, we're extending the meeting, yeah, so it is. Three, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 we already opened it. We already opened it, so yeah. yeah. So I'm sorry, I didn't see your it. name. <laughs> see your hand. Um, <laughs> and your name and address for the yep. record. Karen LaPlante, 166 North Maple Street, and I'm chair of the Conservation Commission, for which mm -hmm. I'm making comments. Um, number one, your agenda was a little confusing because it didn't say it was a public hearing, even yes. though the last time it was, it. it needs to say that otherwise we don't know if we can speak or not or anybody doesn't know if they can speak yeah. or not yeah um, to mention that actually. we had sent a memo which wasn't recognized at the last public hearing meeting so we'd like to enter it in for the record um, the Enfield Conservation Commission at its November 28th meeting reviewed plans for the following project and asked that we submit this to you for your consideration on inland wetlands 585 the ECC recommends to request the Department of Energy and Environmental Protection deep environmental review team to look at the parcel in consideration of the following. Parcel contains extensive wetlands, potential archaeological resources, perennial stream, and vernal pools. In addition, the deep ERT would help us to verify soil types and the potential impact on the natural environment by the proposed project's physical characteristics, size, light, pollution, 
impact on vernal pools, et cetera, air pollution, and traffic. Thank you. Thank you. And Did you get the plans? Not that, the new ones. Yeah, I was going to say because he had a bunch of plans up when he was, you might want to check the last meeting. Do you have the last yeah. meeting? Mm -hmm. Yeah, those, those are the new plans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, we got the original first set, but we haven't That's seen any. Yeah, we just got so. them today. So, yeah, yeah. some new plans. We'll be requesting a set. Okay. Thanks. Do, um, does Jennifer have a copy of the letter um, that you just every, read? Everybody got an email. So it came in an email to you guys before yeah, the last I, meeting. I went back All and right. looked. I didn't, I didn't see it. See I, it. I didn't, yeah, I didn't yeah. see an email from well, you either. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, two, you two weren't on it. But were but you could you make sure Jen gets a copy of the letter for the record? I'll send it to Jen. And then, and then we could get a copy of the Yeah, okay. Well, then you got it. One of the other ones, too, that's coming up, but it's not on this. Oh. But I, so I didn't okay. Yeah, that, please make sure she gets it so we could have it. It was dated December 5th, so that's when. Yeah, I went back and looked yeah, at it. I, December I 5th. Everybody should have got it. Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah. So, double check. You. Maybe it went yeah. into spam or something. No, I looked. I looked at everything and didn't see it. Yeah. Just okay. Me. Okay. Just me. Anybody else I would like to speak? For up. Thank you. Mm. Gotcha. Could you speak name and address for the record, please? <coughs> Gretchen Viper Hall, Four Summers Road, Enfield. Also on the Conservation Commission. Uh. So I'm not sure that you all are familiar with the Environmental Re Review Team report um, that Karen mentioned. And it's not something new. Um, the state's been doing it for a while. And the town has... Um, had them do reports on three other projects. So it's, um, I think, very helpful to mm -hmm. the commission. And the reports that were done before were for um, autumn fields, um, the one on Simon Road, um, the villages, and also for a project, I can't remember the name of it, it was another 55 and older project over up Shaker Pines. Um, so it's a very extensive report mm -hmm. and, and extremely helpful. So Is there a certain person or do we just, I mean, does the um, staff just ask for? Um, so it's through, um, through DEP. I don't know yeah, I know at lot. least for the villages that it was a prior staff person who did um, request that a an ERT be completed. Um, so we we can certainly look into that. Mm -hmm. if that's what you yeah. if that's what the commission wants. Yeah. I think that would be appropriate. So they yeah. have they have a number of experts that that look in particular fields and give a really good overview and. This is a large site with, with a lot of important resources. Mm -hmm. That'd be good. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So, Jen, follow up. Yep, I'll Thank follow you. up. <coughs> is there anybody else who would like to speak regarding this? Okay. We will continue that public hearing for February 6th then. Um, next on the agenda is new business. XIW 17-19, Town Farm Road Reconstruction, application for new drainage and road reconstruction, <laughs> Town of Enfield, owner applicant, residential 88, R88 zone. Welcome. Hi. Have some new faces here. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Donald, and today we're going to represent the Town of Enfield Engineering Office, and today is Dan Delaney from Fossil O'Neill, the project uh, designer and engineers. Um, we are, I am engineering as part of a bigger administrative uh, team from DBW with Jonathan Vilmus. He's the director of public works. Greg Gabinelli, the deputy director. Those two are housed at 40 Moody Road. John Cabibbo, uh, the assistant town engineer, myself, and J.P. Rodriguez all reside upstairs on the second floor next to the town manager's office. Again, and all these projects are through the Roads 2015 referendum and are funded accordingly. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to talk about Town Farm along with five, other, other, ones. five, along with five, <laughs> five other projects. Get and comfortable. I will, you know, I mean, I'm comfortable. <laughs> so um, <coughs> this project is one of the more complicated ones. We do have um, a 42-inch 
pipe extension that we're doing. We also had a 48 inch uh, culvert replacement that is turned into a arch culvert. And Dan, can, if you want any more questions on that, we'll get into it. But uh, then we'll talk about the project summary. But it is a little more complicated. It has taken a year and a half to get through design and permitting right now. Uh, it's we got we got thrown a curveball with just replacing the pipe with a box culvert. The box culvert was no good, and we had to go to an arch culvert. But you warned us. <laughs> you, are, you are correct. <laughs> so with Town Farm Road, though, it's it's about 0.68 miles of roadway that we're reconstructing. But again, we're doing significant vertical and horizontal alignments. Um, there is some talk of putting in a future multi-use path that will connect in from town from Abbey Road going westerly to Post Office Road, that multi-use path. So what we're doing is we are shifting the road accordingly and allowing for that um, future bikeway to possibly be done. Instead of redoing the road now, then moving the road over, we're going to be basically moving the road over now, again, and allotting for it. We're not spending any referendum funds on constructing the multi-use path. It's not part of the referendum. We're not doing that. We're also taking um, a significant bite out of the hill next to Grassmere so you can uh, better sight lines. And we're also getting rid of that odd acute angle, if you will, onto Broadbrook. And that was, so we're going to actually split the difference and come up in the middle and make a proper 90 degree turn, left and right turn out of there. So we're going to do some alignment things in there. So it is significant through that. Uh, and with all that, we're, again, we're closing the system. We're curving throughout. Uh, we're adding 27 catch basins. So this is a significant water quality and drainage upgrade from what was previously there. Um, we are going to get our, our usual turf establishment in the grading areas. And we have 27 silt sacks, 5,100 feet of silt fence. This isn't uh, your everyday run-of-the-mill little mm -hmm. project. This is a significant <coughs> thing that we've been working through. Yeah, the 42-inch next to the maintenance building at Grassmere is going to be extended, and the 48-inch just to the east of them, their parking lot is going to be completely replaced. So again, we are, right now we are going from Abbey Road all the way easterly to Broadbrook Road, and again, we're going to get rid of that spur right here and actually come up and, and go through there. This was part. This section was near uh, Abbey Road, looking easterly. This section was kind of redone uh, a few years ago with that as it went through the intersection. But we're going to have to mill some of that to get the grade to work and make some things. So again, this pavement looks good up here because it's fairly new. But after that, it really isn't uh, significant pavement where um, there are no catch bays. There's nothing on site right now anywhere as you go. Um, so this that's hay field. Again. This is cornfields, similar, similar vein going all the way through, significant cracking. Um, this is where the 42-inch uh, will be extended through here. It's hard to tell that it's actually inside there, <coughs> that there's some growth and things, but we're going to we'll get to kind of nitty-gritty of that. This is the, the hill coming out of, I don't know if you've ever folks have been driven downtown farm mm -hmm. and uh, been surprised by a car exiting just yeah. behind here. Yeah. Well, we're going to take, I think, a foot, a foot and a half off. Oh. Yeah. Well, oh. We're going to take a foot and a half off that road for visibility. And for, again, we're, we're tweaking the alignment. We're going to be coming up on this side a little more. So hopefully the side lines and it'll be a safety thing. This uh, large, expansive driveway opening will no longer exist. We're going to put mm. the driveway down a little farther. So this is going to be eliminated. So again, creating more of the safety sight lines. Um, this is where the culvert is, that 48 inches uh, underneath there. Okay. And although it's hard to tell, we'll show you some, we got some other pictures coming up, but <laughs> we're going to be doing some significant enhancements through there. And we are getting rid of, this is all the way down the end of Broadbrook. So we are getting, we're getting rid of this one, we're getting rid of this, and we're splitting the difference and coming right in the middle of it. Well, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, interesting. Right, and it provides a little more separation from Fletcher Road, which is off in the distance to, at that barn over there, mm. so it provides more separation, and when you're leaving, you don't have to keep looking over your shoulder in a very awkward angle, and people mm. come in pretty hot around this corner anyway, yes. so mm. so that's about where we're at. So again, it is full depth reconstruction, uh, the entire length, of the, road, the entire way. Mm. Yes. Mm. Uh, the 42 inch, again, like I said, extended. Again, we have significant alignment things, but again, that's only in the air of, again, the future multi-use path, whatever, um, 48 inches is going to be replaced, and again, we're going to realign that. Now, there's going to be a typical, our typical section through there is going to be 22-foot travel lanes with one-foot shoulders, so again, 24-foot road, it's going to be a little, it, the road now varies, whatever, but we're going to make it consistent 
24 feet all the way through. Uh, there is five inches of pavement. There is four inches of uh, process aggregate and eight inches. So you know we're going down 16 to 20 inches. It's going to be significant um, mm. for that area. Now I've highlighted just for you. I'm, I'm sure you've got your wheelbarrow full of plans. <laughs> yeah. uh, so I've kind of made it easier. I did highlight these in maroon because where all the silt fence is going throughout the project. This is Abbey Road through here, and this is Hayfield uh, north towards here. So you can just see there's just we have it. It's we're covered. Mm -hmm. I think oh, yeah. I think yeah. the long and short of it is that we're we're covered through what we're doing, and um, so again, so here's that realignment. So here's that spur that's going to be gone. Here's that other one, and we're going to send. It should be a significant upgrade for oh, yeah. for that. <clears throat> now the 42, if that 42 inch culvert picks up this tributary and it comes down and it goes through here and kind of dribbles out that way, so that's that's where we're trying to we're going to be making mm -hmm. the improvements through here. Hmm. Doesn't look like anything there, yeah. but there's actually there's actually pipe yeah. in there, and it's and it's significantly deteriorated. You know, it, we're going to put a new head wall in. So we're going to go with a uh, typical cantilever type wall, less impact, very little digging involved with it, so we're not really disturbing too much. We're just basically extending that pipe. Mm -hmm. uh, it goes from here, we're extending it out uh, five feet, no, it's, it's seven five or so, seven feet. We're also adding, we're going to be putting, we're going to be piping this in uh, from this drain manhole from all the, from, from the catch basins west, so we're going to pipe that in through there. So again, it's very little footprint compared to some of the other structures that we're going to be doing. So in regards to this, this for this area, again, almost no impact to uh, wetlands that are there. And this is the typical section looking at it if you were standing in the water looking northerly at it. And there's the, the 42 inch and there's the 24 here. There's enough for grab and the stabilization, slope stabilization. So we're doing our, our due diligence there. And now the big one. <laughs> 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 yes, so this is the uh, Grassmere parking lot. This is that, that large expanse of driveway that we have here. So we're just, again, we're just past that. Whoops. So this trip, this picks up this, and it goes down, and as you can see, there's um, mm -hmm. the inlet side is a 48-inch pipe. It's cr it's crushed, and it's got to, we have to do it our proper thing. Um, that's on the upstream side under some, some flow. This is the outbound side. You notice there's a drop to it, mm -hmm. and whole bunch of just sediment or just really not really well taken care of just because of the way that the dynamics of the way the water is and how the pipe is right now it just really isn't working mm -hmm. we before this is again this is due north so due west of that we have a double catch basin with four foot sumps on them catching the rest of that water we have another single set over here with four foot sumps catching it and we're also again plugging in that so there's we're catching everything that's going in, clean, you know, cleaning yeah. it, the hoods, everything is part of it. Now the original, this was the original pipe that kind of sawtooth, what you see right here in gray, that was, that's the original pipe in real, original elevation. So what we're doing is we're kind of lowering it down. We're also providing two feet of natural bottom um, for, for fish and other aquatic uh, life that's out there. <coughs> And this also better matches with kind of a sort of like a plunge pool and it kind of slows the water down before it kind of blows out and, and it's doing its thing. Um, it is significant. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna kid mm -hmm. you. It is a significant structure out there considering that that 48 inch pipe that you see is this yeah. Yeah. Wow. Is this wow. hollow out there. Yeah, that's huge. It's a it's a massive upgrade from from what we have and um, it'd be nice. Yeah. I was yeah. when Dan said that the reaction wasn't too kind because I just cannot believe that that I mean, I mean you could fit four of those pipes across here you know what I mean you look yeah. at that and how it changed but Dan can speak more to that yeah. what happened or how we got to that point, point but we're at this point now where this is the only thing that's acceptable to too deep mm -hmm. and and that so mm -hmm. um before again, we're providing that 48 inch culvert had 12.6 square feet of opening. Now we're at now we're at 53 square feet. Um, wow. Yeah. So we and also again we lowered the uh, 100 year flood elevation because before at 100 years we'd be breaching the road by almost it'd be a foot underwater, almost yeah. a foot underwater, and now we're going to be three three almost four feet under the roadway. Mm -hmm. So that's again that's a massive improvement. But again. When you drive by there, I'll guarantee you, you'll drive by it if you yeah. didn't know any you better. Notice it, yeah. it's, but <clears throat> the problem is the watershed. I don't. Two, almost two acres is the watershed. 
So it's something, two square, yeah, it was two almost miles. two square, square miles, miles of watershed that comes through yeah, that. Wow. Oh, wow. It's okay. deceivingly large yeah. compared it's to nice the one that's that right upstream. The, so. It's nice that you took the fish into consideration. Yeah. 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 You know. So again, we will submit uh, to the Army Corps uh, the self-verification for because we meet the criteria of the stream crossing guidelines through DEEP and whatever, so we meet all that so we don't have to go through a CAT 2 permit through yes. Army Corps. So it, this yeah. is a, a file in... Uh, forget it kind of thing you know it's, it's a category one it's not it's nothing like Mullen Road where we had cat twos mm -hmm. so this is uh, filed with them and again this is this was approved uh, through deep Again, there is a natural stream bottom we have to regrade the channel to accommodate it there's no way <coughs> possible to get that large of a structure mm -hmm. in there without having to do some regrading so um, right now it completely operates only on pressure flow because again it just goes through there and just has to just force its way through because there's just nowhere else to go that can't handle the capacity of it and it overtops the roadway quite often um, we're going to eliminate it up to a hundred year storm we're going to uh, in the 500 year check flood that was in your thing uh, in your packets that only will go over the road two inches on a 500 year storm which is uh, we got bigger problems if yeah so we have again we have 1.3 feet before so it would breach the road we almost a foot and a half of water above the road. But um, and the other thing is too, because we're providing such a large opening that you're going to get back. What happens sometimes the watershed drains out too much. Uh, back it's backwater called backwater requirements. When we meet all of those, um, it's basically the water. You don't want it to drain the entire system right yeah, out right, because right. it's so big. Yeah. It, everything works with this, so we meet all the requirements. Um, Another interesting thing is during the construction, we're going to have to do a 48 inch bypass. bypass because we just cannot get that work done in a day, and it's right. going to be mm. it's going to be significant. So it, when you look here, this is the travel lane. This this arrow here I'm on the right side of my screen here, mm -hmm. and the left arrow. So this is the natural travel lane right now. We're going to have to while we're working on the southern phase, we need to push build the roadway up on the right side, mm -hmm. and work on this side. Right, and then put the pipe in there. When we get when we get done with the southerly side, we got to work on the northerly side and switch them back over again. Hmm. Our other option is to completely detour this for mm, mm. four or five months or so. <coughs> that would, that would, people would not be happy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it would not be. It, detour would be an option if there was a road kind of nearby. There really isn't. Yeah. You really have to travel a distance to to get yeah. to it. So we're not. Yeah. We're not in a really condition or a situation we can detour them. It's unlike bridge, you know, like mm -hmm. another one we're coming up to. It's unlike that one where we can move them around easier. But this is, mm -hmm. there's just no way out of it. Is the dark the bypass? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it will be removed. Yeah, that's huge too. Huh? Yeah. Well, again, it's a 48 inch <laughs> pipe now, so we're trying to at least maintain what we have now. Right. Get that water going, and we do what we need to do to get the water, so we can, our, you know, the guys can work and yeah. do their thing. Hmm. Um, so with project. yeah, yeah. So so with all that, we only have one square foot of permanent water course impact total. Mm. Five hundred one square feet of permanent wetlands impact, and that's just only because again we have such a large structure. I mean, mm -hmm. we just there's no way avoiding it. Uh, temporary water course ones are really light, six hundred thirty six temporary wetland impacts for that. But again, by doing it, we're also restoring three hundred eighty eight square feet of that, so we're kind of netting. Mm -hmm. Almost nothing there, and there's 1,600 uh, square feet of water course restoration that we're going to be doing through channel work and, and whatever. Mm -hmm. That all this part and parcel of that. Now our standard details that we've been including, we make sure that we've included in all of our projects. Again, every we have catch mm -hmm. basin hoods, mm -hmm. uh, the sedimentation control systems, the silt sacks that are in the in all the basins once it gets uh, brought in. And all of our no dumping, this is all standard stuff that we've been including for, for quite yeah. some time now, yeah. and we keep doing it. We also included in this section, I don't know if you caught that, got a dewatering de bag in case we're getting some real mucky stuff. We don't want to be right. spreading, just right. pumping right. that out. So yeah. that'll help clean up some of the water getting out of there. So this is, again, this is one of, uh, a major, yeah, major, major project in town. Um, How long is it going to take? I'm hoping a year. Yeah. We'll try to get it out for April if we can get through everything and get it out in the street. Mm. So trying to get it done by the end of the year. Mm. Do you have the funding for it? Yep. Funding is completely in place through the roads program. Yeah. Yeah. It's completely in place, yep. 
Uh, it, it is in poor, again, we saw poor condition. There are no storm drains out there now. Everything just kind of bleeds out and whatever it is. So again, we're going to be redoing, the, we're basically installing a brand new system just mm -hmm. to accommodate mm -hmm. all this uh, through deep and through all this recommendations through that. Mm -hmm. Our typical water quality measures that we always do, mm -hmm. uh, catch basins by the tons, hoods and sumps, and we're mm -hmm. typically working with that. And again, Condot and, Con and Deep have approved the arch culvert and you know, with, the, uh, with the Army Corps filing, uh, everything's been approved so far, and that's why we've been took another three, four months, kind of to get it going, to repermitting and things like that. We were real close to getting the box culverts in, but that didn't work. <laughs> so again, uh, considering the amount of work and the amount of the size of that, we have really negligible impacts. Even though again, we are significantly altering the geometry of the road, but uh, considering what we're doing, I think we're, we're doing the impacts are relatively light. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any questions for Dan? He's here for <coughs> Can you just speak a little more about the, the watershed that it's draining out of and how how it mitigates just draining all that out? For the uh, the large culvert? Yes. Yeah. So they're actually the first culvert, the forty two inch, is actually Buckhorn Brook. And the culvert the larger culvert is a tributary to Buckhorn Brook. In this case, they combine just south of here, but the tributary is actually significantly larger than the brook itself at that okay. point. All right. So hmm. that was one of the driving factors in the permitting was the, the, the size of that watershed was too large to allow for um, just to allow for it to remain in place or to allow for just a, a, a small culvert um, or a, a, an enclosed culvert, just a box culvert. Um, because of the size, we had to... Uh, in, in the permitting through deep, we had to go to a larger open bottom structure to meet the stream crossing standards and all that. It's, it's close to two square miles, the thresholds uh, mm -hmm. under that, uh, under, okay. under a square mile. So so that's that's how we ended up, you know, going from the, the box culvert to to this design was sort of the, the change in those stream crossing standards. And what would have happened is that would have triggered us into a much larger permitting effort. And one of the pieces of that permitting effort, which we discussed with, with Donald, was the first piece you have to justify is why aren't you doing what we're proposing here? Right. So it really would have been a catch-22. Um, so we revisited the design, and in the end, from a cost standpoint, it's not significant. It's not a significant increase. It is. A, it is an increase over the box culverts. It's not a huge increase, but what you end up with is is something that is is basically meets all the requirements of the stream crossing standards uh, with with uh, with deep and and falls into that self verification. What used to be the cat one of self verification with Army Corps. So it's just a, a file and forget. There's no, um, it's okay. just a verification. Nice. So you, you end up, and then obviously you end up with a much better product because now with the open bottom, and, and it's designed, one of the reasons is, is why this is, is to meet the, um, the stream crossing standards for bank, bank full width. Okay. So you, what, what you do is you go up and you analyze the cross section of that stream in either direction to get an average of what the bank full width is of, of the stream. So when you build your culvert, you don't get a constriction, an artificial right. mm -hmm. constriction, which then, you know, you, you get turbulence, you get erosion and scour and all those things. So the idea is to limit that. So then you can use the natural bottom, you don't have to worry about all those other factors. Minimizing so. the downstream. Right. Okay. So, um, so the idea ultimately is that that culvert will uh, hydraulically act as any other section of the stream. Right and not act as, as much of a constriction. Obviously, when you get up to like a 100-year storm, it's overtopping the bank in a number of areas, not just there, and that's where you do get, you, you do get some A backup, um, but it doesn't overtop the road. Like it does. It's a significant, significant increase, uh, improvement over what's there now. Excellent. Hmm. Anything else? Okay. Any other comments, questions for them? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I will make <coughs> a uh, proposal that we um, <coughs> accept um, XIW number seventeen dash nineteen. Town Farm Road, Road Reconstruction, 
Um, whereas the Enfield Inland Wetland Watercourse Agency has received an application for full depth reconstruction and new drainage of Town Farm Road, and whereas the agency has determined that the reconstruction of the roadway will not have an impact on um, any wetlands. Minimal impact. Minimal impact. Let's uh, revise that too. Um, so we hereby approve XIW, or I propose that we approve XIW 17-19. Um, with the standard um, conditions. Uh, conditions. Second. Okay. Uh, roll call, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Donna? Yes. Kevin? Yes. Virginia? Yes. Uh, Marie? Yes. Kelly? Yes. Marcy? Yes. Six in favor, motion passes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good luck. <clears throat> Very well yeah. presented. Yeah. I wish everyone it's, was as as It's um, actually be exciting yeah. to watch yes. that project. Yes, yeah. excellent. Let's we'll take a look at it as yeah. it goes. Um, next on the agenda <laughs> is Donald. <laughs> wow. XIW, XIW 17-20 Bridge Lane Road Reconstruction, Application for Rehabilitation, Reconstruction Road Projects, Town of Enfield, Owner <coughs> Applicant, Residential 33, R33 Zone. Good evening. Hi. <laughs> hey, it's I'm you back. again. I have with me Raju from Weston and Sampson, design here for the project. And we're gonna Hi. welcome back. I think you've been here before. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All righty. So today we can we're gonna talk about our usuals, and with the exception of the uh, we have we have a sewer component <coughs> that we're gonna talk about briefly, and the 36-inch uh, TMP culvert replacement. So Bridge Lane is, again, was a separated, pro we originally included, it was Parsons Bridge, that was the name of the project, we separated it out because of the permitting, and we just couldn't, we had a sewer, uh, sewer issue that we just decided it would be best interest to get Parsons Road done and, and just separate Bridge Lane. So this is the second part of that whole area that we're going to do. Uh, it's 0.61 miles and it goes from the train tracks on the far westerly side which butts into, which turns into Parsons Road at the time, and it goes through five. We're doing some very, very minor, unlike Tom Farm, these are very minor <laughs> vertical and horizontal alignments. We are curving it throughout. It's kind of sporadic now. Um, we are, again, adding catch basins. Again, our standard, the two-foot sums, four-foot before any outlets or before the last pipe, uh, before it goes out is always a, a four-foot sump. And we're also adding 10 catch basin hoods um, throughout. With that, we're also adding nine new catch basins um, and 11 replacements, in fact. So basically, that whole entire system should be basically renewed because the catch basins did not, they're not aging well. So I think it's in our best interest to replace them. Adding one drain mantle and one giant hydrodynamic separator that's out there. And there's also another one that is to the west of, yeah, to the west of Rivercliff. I think it is. There's another one out there. We're adding another one in. Uh, but as part of this work, the sewer is in really um, bad condition. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. Um, with that, we're going to be putting in 16 new sewer manholes throughout there and 3,085 feet of new sewer main and over 50-plus new home laterals or replacement laterals that people are going to connect to as part of, that, as part of this project. <laughs> Um, but I do want to stress, as I'm going to get to it, and that none of the funding for that sewer component is coming from the Rhodes referendum, and I really need to stress that, and I will state that again. Okay. again. Uh, WPC <laughs> is paying it for it in its entirety through that, but we're just going to uh, include it as part of the project. Okay. Turf establishment throughout, uh, throughout the grading areas. We have 1,800 feet of silt fence, 20 silt sacks, um, and again, our standard use of DMPs throughout the construction site and the 36 inch will be replaced. So again, we're going from Parsons Road and our WPC plan is down here. <coughs> and it just goes up to Route 5. Very simple alignment, there's no, uh, really isn't much hmm. to it. So we are starting outside of the railroad right away and the uh, railroad was extremely specific that no work will be done whatsoever in the uh, right of way. Hmm. Um, so if you happen to be driving down Bridge Lane or going to Parsons Road, you notice that we've had some very odd cutoffs because the right-of-way is very odd, to say the least, mm -hmm. through here. Mm -hmm. It's not, it, you would think that it would be 50 feet off the center line of the mm -hmm. track. It is not by any stretch of the imagination. It's jagged and it does some weird things. So 
Mm -hmm. um, we're going to cut it off in a logical point, but this the, this area will still be left as is due to the uh, railroad requiring not us, for us not to do any work. Coming up, the pavement is in pavements matched with the water main that was just replaced uh, last mm -hmm. summer and whatever we've been, this road is just, mm -hmm. it's in tough shape. Yeah. Not too many catch basins, the only catch basins are going to river cliff because that was a part of the new subdivision and the other things that are catching on the corners but really isn't anything up here. Mm -hmm. This is our culvert that we're going to be looking at a little later, it's it's in failing condition, it's really not, um, it's not really doing what is what it's supposed to be doing, but we're going to get to that in a minute. There are those guardrails. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They don't yep. look too well either. Um, yeah, touche. Um, again, the pavement, and this is wow. when the pavement was looking good, and it's, it's deteriorated more than that. It is, um, there's the random basin here and there because that comes from this corner and it goes to here, and now it's the only really catch basin on the street. Hmm. And this, again, looking from, from Route 5. So... Pretty linear project, not, again, it's very straightforward. Um, full depth, again, throughout. This yeah. is not, we're not going to be milling, we're not going to do anything. This is full depth throughout this entire length. Um, the, the box culvert's going to be replaced. And again, almost, the good part about this project is the horizontal alignment and the vertical alignment are nearly the same. There isn't really, there's, there isn't much more than four or five inches here and there, which is mm. really nothing in the, uh, considering. We do have four and a half inches of pavement going down and 15 inches of uh, process aggregate so we are cutting 20 basically 20 inches down from existing so it's a significant upgrade from what they have now uh, we do understand that there's trucks we do on occasional things that go through there so we are kind of beefing it up a little more than we typically would for subdivision uh, again in maroon I've highlighted mm -hmm. uh, where the silt fence is going and this is at the uh, this is at that big culvert mm -hmm. section through here so we do we do have enough protection here that we feel there's other spots that we're going to be cutting. We're not going to really need to, to worry about that. It is sporadic, but again, it is covering where, where we need to throughout. Now again, this sewer replacement, it's going to go concurrent with the road construction because it should provide an economy of scale for both of our projects. So if WPC was to do this alone, they're going to have to go, it's going to be excavation down to, you know, eight, 10 feet. If we do it through here they're going to be digging they're going to be taking the top two feet off anyways it's less, less excavation hopefully it would be again some sort of economies of scale that, that's why we decided to lump this with it and we know from videotape that the sewer is in poor to very poor conditions and if we were to just do the road there's going to be guaranteed there's going to be breaks and we're going to be digging up the new road which really yeah. isn't a good thing so wpca has decided and with the guidance of DPW said we found they found some funding to go do this and do this before we do the road because it would just be um, it just wouldn't be good. We get knowing what we saw in the tapes, it's yeah. just not going to be good. It is, and again, I said it before, it is entirely funded. I want to make that abundantly clear. It's entirely funded through WPC, a separate account, uh, is utilizing their funds for including the inspection part of the um, of the sewer main installation and all that stuff that's all covered through them. It's got nothing to do with us. The design has been paid through WPC. So again, it is a separate. The only thing we're doing is combining it as one project and um, for for this for scale. <clears throat> now again, this 36 inch, which we're going to look at. Uh, if folks driven down Bridge Lane, you see that nice pond over there, the gazebo mm -hmm. that's in the middle right here, and occasionally we have the aerators going, and the mm -hmm. pond looks nice. So that eventually <laughs> kind of comes down through here, goes down, gets piped underneath the, the so down through here, comes out through here, and eventually goes out that Parsons Road one that we, mm. wow. yes, eventually makes it all the way down through there. So well, scale-wise, yeah. the proverbial drop of water planted here ends up down here. Wow. Hmm. So it is an important... Yeah. component yeah. to this, the street, into the hydrology of the area. Mm -hmm. And that is, again, for scale-wise, that pond, whether you think it's big, you know, you drive by it or whatever, mm -hmm. it is fairly substantial. Mm -hmm. So, again, that's where we're going to be working, focusing our efforts. So, again, mm -hmm. yeah, the guardrail, which really isn't guarding much, <laughs> um, a couple squirrels and rabbits maybe, but it isn't going to stop a car. So, it does, again, with no rain event, this is what it looks like. With a rain event, wow. mm. uh, we're a little different. Yeah. No rain event. Rain, rain event. event. Wow. Yeah, it's like a mess. It's a mess. 
Um, wow. It just breach it. It just goes mm. right in. So again, if we can again all understand the, yeah. mm. the real importance of why we're doing this, and you know the what we're going to have to do to get this pipe in there, knowing that. Um, we have a water main that the water company did place in for us. They did place it significantly deeper in an inside of a sleeve. Um, so they worked with the water company, Connecticut Water Company worked with us to get us a sleeve, of, you know, I think it was 12 feet deep so we can avoid all of our digging. So they, they actually elbow down, come flat across, and they elbow back up again mm -hmm. around the culvert oh. so we don't have to uh, mess with them. And it's protected inside of a sleeve. So it's not just... Um, it's not just the pipe in the ground, it's the pipe inside of a pipe. So it's it's helping us out. So they worked with us with that to do that. I do like how you got the barrel in there and that bigger too. <laughs> nice, nice. Nice. Can't reach it though. It's a little, uh, it's a little squishy. Yeah, but yeah, we're just trying to avoid all this kind of uh, yeah. Yeah. just straight direct flow right in and run off and wow. erosion of the banks just, just dumping mm. right in. So Excellent. that's yeah. what we're charged to do. A couple of interesting stats. Right now it can handle about 49 cubic feet per second without overtopping. When we're done, can handle 113 cubic feet per second, which is which is basically um, doubling the hydraulic capacity yeah. of the um, of the of the culvert. Right now, we're at 0.76 freeboard on the upstream side, so nine inches we have before we before we breach. When we're done, we're gonna have 2.2 feet. Mm. Nice, nice. And then, and again, it's the same basic velocities, but we're just gonna be handling twice the amount. Of, you know, can handle a heck of a lot more water. That's interesting. Yeah. I would have thought it would be more. <clears throat> we did submit to the U.S. Army Corps. Uh, that was the cat category <coughs> one. Again, we've met all the requirements. We don't have to meet any cat two or individual permit, so we're back to the cat one notification. The U.S. Army Corps did approve the five foot by five foot box culvert. And out of that five foot, we're putting in two feet of natural bottom uh, for fish and aquatic life as well. So although the box yeah. itself is five five, it's gonna the area is three foot by five foot, and mm -hmm. basically that can flow through. Hmm. Natural stream bottom, we're basically matching inverts, doubled. Um, we're gonna put an intermediate riprap, so that's like six to eight inch size chunkers, not those big cannonballs, yeah, yeah. but the next size down uh, on the other on the outbound side, so it doesn't scour and kind of blow out downstream. That helps energy dissipation. If you get a heavy flow, it's just going to kind of slow it down. It's not going to be like gaving walls, but it's going <laughs> to slow it down a little bit. Um, hopefully, it'll prevent the erosion of the bank and transfer <coughs> that sediment that you saw in that picture. How far downstream? Yeah, it's just hopefully we'll get rid of all that. Yeah. And also, what helps too is the precast elements uh, reduce the duration of construction. So hopefully, again, this we're, we're as we talked um, as we talked about, we're going to have to we're going to have to close the road down to do this work. Yeah. There is no way around it. We can't build the road. Um, mm. We just no possible way we can build that road. Let me get to this one over here, or over here. It right. just, it's, yeah. it's going to be way too cost prohibitive, and we're in water. I mean, it's just, it, it's yeah. just a nightmare. So what we're, we've decided to do is basically shut it down, build it, hurry up, and open it up again. That's mm. what we're going to do. And with those five foot sections, those are stock items. Those are just basically crane them in, plunk them in, and, and get them done. So what's the time frame on this one? Uh, this hopefully will be done in seven months. We're talking in about a, what, a month we're talking for the culvert. For the culvert, yes. Mm -hmm. So again, we have we have fed, we have state of Connecticut and federal weapons that are in, that delineated, but we're not really um, we're we're good with that. We're not really disturbing too much of that. Considering again how big of a yeah. We're going again. We're only, we have 370 <laughs> square feet of permanent water course, 220 of wetlands, and it's only because we're doing structure placement. Again, you're talking a five foot five inside box, and now it's a foot on each side of that. So you're talking seven foot structures by seven foot right. each piece. You get a you know, you get to pluck those in. So right. it's not like we're just ripping and tearing. It's again, it's just the placement of that um, of those boxes. We have 100 square feet of temporary impacts, and that's because of just dewatering. We're gonna have to do something while they're working there to get that water up on the other side and do right. pump and do all that. So that's what we're gonna. Do. What will you do? What's that? How will you get it to the other side? It's a temporary bypass pipe, 24 inch temporary bypass mm -hmm. pipe just to the west of it, pretty close to the structure. Mm -hmm. And uh, we should be able to manage a normal flows go through there mm -hmm. while we build the structure. Yeah. And if they have to pump 
taking fun extra if they really need to. If you know, yeah. if it gets you know heavy rains or something, yeah, we can yeah. figure out a ways to do it. But there were provisions in there to make sure that they get the water from you know, yeah, get it all the way through. Yeah. yeah, but it's gonna be easier than having it being it blocked off, right? And not worry about car, you know, doing cars and stuff. You can just you know yeah. set that up and kind of dewater it and get in there the next day if they have to and go in and do the work. Right. Mm. It's gonna be a lot different than town yeah. mm. And we're also creating 64 square feet of water course. Yeah. All right, so here's some real guardrails for those <laughs> <laughs> for those concerned for the, tra the motoring public. We do have some uh, real guardrails, and that should work just fine. Again, we're it, we're just going straight across the road, nothing fancy. We're not yeah. going to be touching the gabions. What's hard to notice too in the pictures is that to the north side, about 12 feet, 15 feet up, there's a set of gabion walls that are in there now. Okay. Using the flow going over that, so we're not going to be anywhere near. It. We're not touching any of that stuff. Uh, this is what you're going to look like on the uh, on the backside instead of that other picture with the water pouring in with the failed guardrail. This is what you're going to be seeing here. So it's going to be structurally sound. Mm, okay. Um, there's that. You know, again, there's our, the natural bottom there, and again, this is all going to be. This will be open for obviously water and fish and aquatic life, and the bottom part is going to be mm -hmm. built in. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Substantial structure from yeah. what's out there now, and it's oh, going to yeah. be a change yeah. from because people get you, you drive down here, you don't even think about it because you just don't even see that. But you we realize the importance of it, and this is how it's going to have to be to to hold that up and do what we need to do for the box culvert. What is the typical lifespan for that this type of structure? It's around seventy-five to hundred years. Okay, oh. nice. nice. I guess we won't have to worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> I'm doing good. So. so this is the existing section. Here's our here's our road up here, and again, it just kind of just goes right right to it. Uh, there's a couple feet in between here, and our new section. That road's going to be real snug underneath, but there isn't much room to get yeah. by that. Um, another interesting part is that because of the way the the sewer line, the sewer line was, see that right here? Mm -hmm. Right in, kind of right in the middle of it. Well, mm -hmm. We don't have enough, pre we don't have enough hydraulic pressure uh, to do a siphon, so yeah. we can't go, we can't come underneath the pipe, they yeah. can pop back yeah. up again. We don't have enough head, we call it hydraulic, yeah. we don't have enough force push basically push to push it down right. and over. So unfortunately, the pipe is in it. The pipe. If you happen to have scuba gear, or felt like swimming, you can see the <laughs> pipe that's now. It goes right through that right now. Wow, mm. really? Yeah. Okay. It's in there right now. So mm. we are kind of recreating this thing, but it's going to be sleeved. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a ductile iron sleeve. So if there's any sort of leak, anything goes completely haywire. There's no. We're going to we'll be any nowhere near that stream. stream. I think we have 20 feet on each side. Okay. Mm. I think we've got we have 40 feet of ductile iron for a seven foot structure. Mm -hmm. right. So. Mm. We're, you know, we have enough room on, we have 20 feet, yeah. 13 feet on each side so. of the structure, where again, if something happened to that pipe that's inside there, there's, it's no, it's not really near where we need to be working, so it's not going to be spilling into the, the thing, but right now, yeah. we have, this is a VC piping that's right through it. Uh, hmm. This is old vitrified clay piping right through it. <laughs> so. It's not the best solution. The siphon would be the best solution or a pump system, but again, that's just way out of the pump system is just way out of uh, financially. It's just not cost effective for this. Siphon would be better, but again, we don't have enough uh, hydraulic head to push that through. So that's our best solution right now that we can think of um, that would still allow us to do what we need to do for the culvert part and also for the sewer replacement. Mm -hmm. So it is interesting. Yeah. And again, our standard uh, <laughs> things that we keep doing for you folks. We put in our catch face and our hoods, yeah. our sanitation controls, and our silt sacks, mm -hmm. and our no dumpings. Mm -hmm. So we know that Bridge Lane is in really poor condition because it's really just taken it's taken a pounding, and again, it right. doesn't help with the water main. It, we're happy the water the water department is keeping ahead of us and doing what they're their work to do so we don't even have these blowouts too afterwards. Mm -hmm. uh, so they've been working with us great. That's why, again, it's really hammered now. We really got to get this road done. So we know it's in poor condition. There's, again, there's tons of catch bases we're putting in. We're really focusing on all of our projects. Again, we're really having mm -hmm. a good focus now. Again, upgrading it, incre you know, increase the water quality, the standard BMP, the catch we also have the hydrodynamic separator, uh, another one on that street. 
So really doing the best we can, knowing that again, that proverbial drop of water that goes right to the goes right to the river. So mm -hmm. we know that, and we've accommodated for that through here. Mm -hmm. And we also have very negligible impacts to Demons Brook and the wetlands. Yep. So. Any questions for Roger? He's waiting. <laughs> Any questions? Fire away. Mm -hmm. No, nope. nope. <laughs> we're good. You explained very well, and yeah, it's, yeah, it's good no. that uh, you explain the way that you do so that the people that are watching on TV truly understand what it is <coughs> you're yeah. doing yeah. and the importance of yeah. it. Right. All right. I <laughs> propose that um, Enfield, uh, Enfield Inland Wetlands and Watercourse Agency approve XIW number 17 20. <coughs> for the rehabilitation, reconstruction, minor realignments, and drainage improvements on Bridge Lane with our standard conditions. Second. Okay. Roll call. Donna? Yes. Kevin? Yes. Ginny? Yes. Uh, Marie? Yes. Kelly? Yes. Marcy? Yes. Yeah. Six in favor, motion passes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have fun. <laughs> We should have a party. I know. They, they put the culvert in. We can have a. We can go look. It. Yes. <laughs> can use it on the Jersey Barrier. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Okay, yeah. we're third down. We're third down. <laughs> Next on the agenda, guess what? It's Donald. <laughs> XIW 17 21, Thomasville Northeast Road Reconstruction. Application for the reconstruction and reclaim, reclaim of the roadways within the project areas of Dover Road. Foxcroft Road, Montana Road, Leonard Road, Fremont Road, and Eleanor Road. Town of Enfield, owner, applicant, resident, residential 33, R33, and business general. Good evening. Good Welcome. evening. <laughs> Welcome. We have somebody new. His name is Roy Seeley from uh, Beta. He's a project designer and engineer. So this is uh, the first two projects were um, my project. This is J.P. Rodriguez. These are his projects, but I will be presenting for him today. You got the short straw. <laughs> You were, you were here, so you might as well keep going. <laughs> this is going to be a pretty straightforward one, our <coughs> typical discussion. Project. It is a huge project. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. For those, For those roads, yeah. It's called Colony Acres, the subdivision. It's down, mm -hmm. it's hmm. up on Route 5. So it's almost yeah. basically two miles of reconstruction. There are some minor alignments, but the real take-home point that we want to stress with you folks is that the newer section, because we have, there's the old, the older section and there's the newer section mm -hmm. towards the back, towards the east, mm -hmm. for the most part, the east. Um, those are going to be reduced, those 30 foot wide roads, we're going to be reducing those all down to 26. Mm -hmm. So, um, we are going to be re reducing the impervious out there by just over a third of an acre. We're just going to, we're going to, we're doing our best to help uh, reduce some impervious as well. We're going to be doing some new curving throughout. Our standard catch basins, traps, four foot sumps before and you know, falls, and all that kind of good things. We are going to be putting in 21 new catch basins and 42 replacements. Yeah, they're mm. pretty. They're not in good mm. condition, right? Mm. You know, they haven't yeah. uh, they haven't aged well either. Like some <laughs> of our so, 10 drain manholes. We have turf again, turf attachment, all of our grading areas. Our water quality is maintained and protected. We have 70 silt sacks as part of this project. <laughs> And 2,045 feet of silt dam. Yeah. <laughs> so there's our project. Yeah, it is. It is, it is yeah. pretty significant. Yeah. So this is the fruit market, mm -hmm. and this is the uh, fertility uh, party holding mm -hmm. right through here. Mm -hmm. So this basically this entire neighborhood mm -hmm. uh, is going to be. Nice. Uh, done. It is a significant project. How, how and again, left, how can we left that colony? <laughs> Colony was uh, repaved in 2014 as part of the pavement oh, project. Oh, there you go. 2014, yeah. uh, okay. $6.2 million project. <laughs> so, I know that because that was the project. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I know that stuff right off the top of my head. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, that was just, uh, that was repaved. So that was done before. Okay, that was good. done before. Are all these projects going to be done at the same time? We are having a very busy 2018 mm. with the with a lighter 2019 construction season because we're thinking, you know, the next re possible referendum when we have some other finishing up things to do, we need to do. So that's why this year is heavy. This year is probably our heaviest load that we've had. Yeah, mm. it's, yeah there's going to be a lot going on. It impacts thousands of people. What we're doing for, mm. this, for this year is going to be pretty heavy. Mm -hmm. Now, these folks, too, have just lived through a water main replacement oh, area yeah. in that entire area. Mm -hmm. So these roads are, are kind of messy. They're mashed. 
they're yeah. really, there's, mm -hmm. you know. Yep. So they have lived, so again, there's a lot of construction, so these people, have not, they've had one whole year of that, plus we're gonna be another whole year mm -hmm. with, with this project too. But it is an, exp it is an extensive project, and again, um, we'll get it done. Mm -hmm. So as, again, with some wet soils, we do have some areas, mm -hmm. uh, this is from a GIS map, we do have some areas here that were developed, but there really isn't anything like directly impacting. Um, well, and here's a flood flood insurance. So again, we're, we're outside of it, even though um, Freshwater Brook, um, or Freshwater, mm -hmm. Grape. Grape Brook, yes. Mm -hmm. So Grape Brook comes through, we, again, we're not really, we're away from it, we're, we're doing what we need to do. So from, from our, Again, the typical section here, we have four, this is a residential neighborhood, yeah. it's gonna be a little different. We have four inches of blacktop, eight inches of base, and 10 inches of gravel. So because of the, so much mixing that's been going on, like again, with the repair from the water main, yeah. there's so much out there, we just, we're basically gonna re just replace it and do everything correctly and hopefully give them a road that'll last them 20, our design life is 20 years, we'll hopefully yeah. try to get more through that. And again, all the roads will be 30, 26 feet wide instead of 30. And it's, again, we are curving it. Um, there are some interesting parts why they have curve here and the other side doesn't, but we're gonna yeah. go ahead and straight ahead and, and just curve everything. Again, the roads are in, this is before the water main yeah. pictures, and again, the roads are, again, significantly bad condition. A lot of catch basins and corners picking up all that drainage that never got picked up before and kind of just seeped around and hung mm -hmm. around. We're picking up corners. You can just see all the, you know, mm. the drainage work here. These are all, again, everything in black is new. Uh, here's Dover, very flat through here. Um, again, picking up catch bait, we've got doubles, picking up stuff. We're really trying to just get rid of that water and, and pick it up and put it where it should be instead of just mashing the pavement. Mm -hmm. Now this is what I was talking about, the, the old section versus new yeah. section. Mm -hmm. This is, it's night and day when you drive down, the, the look of it and the feel of it. So you can see right, it kind of juts out mm -hmm. uh, like that. Roy can go in better on how, the, again, if this, I don't remember if this side was held or, you know, we kind of, we didn't want to, you know, we can't really shrink it. Sometimes you can shrink it equally, but some sides are too flat. And so then if you, if you have a flat driveway, then you extend that out even farther, then you got puddles in people's driveway and then they're really not happy with me. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, Roy had to, do, had to move some roads around and do the side. It, it wasn't always like on the southerly side we moved it in or the northerly side. It was what was ever best fit. And sometimes, whatever that fit was, we're still winding up at 26 feet, but some may get more or less um, grass to mow on their, on their snow shelf. How wide is the old part? Is that 26? The narrowest part was probably 22, okay. the old part. Mm -hmm. yeah, so we're, we're stretching things out, but we're, you know, again, we're just kind of making it uniform. Again, a lot of work going out there to pick up catch basins. Um, this is through the sidewalks and like that again. Fremont Road again. You can just kind of, mm. just, just kind of. There's some really interesting transitions, I should say. Yeah. Um, road and just really again for with the sidewalk that weathered so much better than the road. It's amazing that this was put in at basically the same time and just mm. how just yeah. destroyed yeah. the road got. Um, again, catch basins just everywhere. Um, this intersection is going to be real is going to be realigned to a typical 90 degree, we do have, um, it's an expansive pavement for no particular reason. When I came in last, a couple years ago, I did Buckhorn and Susan Circle, where it met, um, where it met Susan Circle. It was just a huge expan. I mean, this is, this is, a, this has gotta be 60 like, yeah, feet across. It's, it's, yeah. it's huge. So is that going down to the? So what we did, yeah, so you can tell on the, if you might build, this right here is the existing roadway oh. out here. Yeah. Yeah. This right here is the existing roadway all the uh, way out here. It'll probably slow people down, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and it's really <laughs> ambiguous uh, on this side where that stop sign is, and you don't yeah. really know where to stop. Yeah. So um, we're, that's where some of the, again, the pavement the impervious reduction came in. We're going we're gonna to choke it down, we're going to neck it down, make it a standard 90-degree, yeah. standard radius is on the corner. Vehicles can still do their thing, but we're going to get rid of a lot of pavement and a lot yeah. of ambiguity at that intersection yeah. and pick up the drainage and do the work through there. Yeah. So, typical, here we go. Yep. Typical things that we, we do. Uh, all of our, again, all of our catch, catch basins, I mean, all of these are all showing you, we do have our sumps to, uh, to them, our sediment controls, well, again, our silt sacks, and 
you know, the basins afterwards, there are no dumping. Whoops, there we go. Um, we do have a lot of roads. This is going to mm. be, it's very little impact for the, uh, you know, on the wetland side. We do have that little couple little pieces here and there, or wet soils that we're mm. kind of dealing with. But again, these roads are in poor condition because, again, of that underlying thing is there's a lot of mixing, there's a lot of work that's been going on through there. So again, we're going to clean all that up. Mm -hmm. um, storm drainage, again, throughout the entire system, our standard things, BMPs, hoods. And we actually have really no impacts to the wetlands or Great Brook. It's just that because of all the wet soils that are out there, um, we're working, we're Careful going through all these things to pick up to pick up even more, so we don't have standing water and road degradation that we you experience there. It's just mm. really bad. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. huh. So, Roy's available. Your questions? Well, I can talk for a few minutes. So I get a you can take a breath. breath. Yeah. <laughs> I can probably run through the next one for you if you want. There you go. Yeah. Anybody have any questions? questions? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Straight uh, All right. All right. I, people will be happy when it's done. Yeah. 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 That's why they yeah. send Donald because he's always prepared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let Donald do it. All right. I move that we accept I, X, uh, XIW number 17 21 for the full depth reconstruction rec reclamation, reclamation, reclamation. Ooh, <laughs> of the roadways in Thompsonville Northeast with our standard conditions. Second. Okay. Roll call. Donna? Yes. Kevin? Yes. Jenny? Yes. Uh, Marie? Yes. <coughs> Kelly? Yes. Marcy? Yes. Six in favor, motion passes. What happened to 1722? <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to know. Oh, I just noticed that. You can yeah. ask Jen that. I don't know. <laughs> That's it's next time. coming at a later date. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Next on the agenda is XIW 17-23, Pavement Preservation Year 4, Application for Roadway Construction of Post Office Road, Oliver Road, Post Road, and Phoenix Ave. Town of Menfield, Owner Applicant, Residential 33, R33, Residential 44, R44, Industrial I1, and Industrial 2. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we have somebody else to my, uh, <laughs> To my left is Jeff Keith from AECOM, formerly URS. Mm -hmm. So he'll be here to answer some questions. Welcome. Here. <laughs> so, it up. So, this, <laughs> yeah, so this project, um, our, we'll go through our standard things we talk about. This is in particular, we're not, uh, this isn't a full <coughs> reconstruction job. No, typically, not. we're not doing. Typically, these other projects that we've had are all been pulled up for reconstruction, mm -hmm. yep. mm -hmm. because this is a pavement preservation project that we're trying to do on the arterials, um, arterials and collector roads. We've been trying to do something other than full depth because of the cost, and if we can do it, we can do it. Well, uh, we, if we can do full, like again, milling and paving or reclaiming, we will do it. We've charged all of our. Consultants, if they can do it with the soil types, then do it. The last resort is full depth. So these first three projects we had, those were last resorts. We, we just could not get the material that's underneath mm -hmm. to work and support right. the road for 20 years. Here, we have sections of pavement that are nine, nine inches to a foot yeah, deep about nine inches or so. through post office. There's sections, so we can just basically we're going to be we're going to sections that we're milling and there's sections that we're going to reclaim. But we'll get into that. So. This is a completely different thing, so we're not really going in there ripping and tearing, digging down 20, 24, 24 mm -hmm. inches. We're doing a little, have a little different take on that. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to reclaim 1,370 feet. So the reclamation, for those um, who don't know, reclamation is basically a gigantic rototiller <laughs> that'll that'll go down 15 inches through the pavement and it'll grind up all that stuff and pulverize everything. So instead of us going in with an excavator and stripping off the blacktop and stripping off the gravel, all that's basically it's a gigantic um, mm. rototiller. Yep. That's all. Like, that's the easiest way. It's, it's yeah. um, six or eight. It's eight feet wide. I think it's I, some of the bigger ones, six, mm. seven hundred teeth on them, and it yep. just yep. grinds yeah, it up. Go to town. Yeah. Yeah. We grade it off, and roll it, you can drive yeah. on it that same day. So that's what reclamation. That's the process of reclamation. Yeah. So that's again, it's a lot less. It's considerable time savings considering mm -hmm. that they can do, they could, they'll, they'll reclaim post road in, in one day. They'd have right. a day, they'll be out of there. They'll be mm -hmm. gone. Yeah. That's it. 
Hmm. That's how fast it is compared to try to dig it all out. Right. Dig it. Are they going to fix the low spot where posts and posts are? We're office? getting there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We've addressed that, yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're reclaiming Post Road. Uh, we Very minor vertical and horizontal alignment, so we're not going to be moving the road too much left or right or up and down, basically mm -hmm. staying where it is. Going to be new curbing throughout. Uh, we're going to be improving again storm drain systems. Again, we're adding catch basins. We're adding the four foot sumps before the outlets, and we're adding just the things. Mm. We have two new catch basins, and those two new catch basins are going in on the corner of Post and Post Office Road, and that's <laughs> near the 91 overpass. Mm -hmm. We're replacing 28 tops, uh, and we're installing two drain manholes, turf establishment, our typical in the grading areas, and water quality. Measures we're trying and again it's been a factor of us. We always keep we we keep pushing it. What our yeah. consultants keep doing it. Thirty silt sacks, thousand feet of fencing, BMPs, and we're not working on the existing culvert except to rebuilding both catch spaces for it. Mm -hmm. So that's important when you mm -hmm. see where we are, um, what we're doing here, where that culvert comes into play. Mm -hmm. So two years ago, as pavement preservation year one project. Uh, we did the first 350 or something feet from Enfield Street uh, easterly to that point, and because that spot was okay for for just an over, I think we did about inch and a half mill, inch and a half overlay. We're going to go. This is Oliver Road, so we're going to go 300 feet west of Oliver Road. Hmm. So from this point easterly is the second phase of pavement pres year two. This is or year three. I'm sorry, year three. That's what we're working on right now. We did the other end this year down by uh, Council ba by Bosco Automotive mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Westerly yep. to Belinda. Mm -hmm. That was that part of it, and we're going to finish off that section the first part of next year. This year, sorry. So we're going to be milling from 350 feet east of and from Route 5 all the way down to here, correct? Mm -hmm. right. And we're going to be reclaiming from here to just past the intersection of Phoenix. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. And if you've driven down there, it's been yeah. it's pretty well the pavement's pretty well obliterated through yeah. there. We're not going to be doing any work at this crossing. This is where the new homes are going in now. On the as you're traveling down on the on the right on the, as you're going oh. heading east. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, we're not doing any work Always on that. Houses. Yeah. yeah. Those there's a couple houses that are being built there. Yeah. We're not doing anything with this culvert. Uh, except milling and paving, we're keeping everything basically in new curbing, but keeping it in that profile. Mm -hmm. We're not doing anything at this other crossing, uh, at that corner place. We're not doing anything. We're not proposing to do anything that there's no upgrades needed for that. Mm -hmm. And we're also not doing any work on this corner either, except for just reclaiming the road. So we're really not touching the main systems there. We're not really going in detail and stuff. We're just basically grinding what we have and, re and working with it. all been down I'm sure every one of you has mm -hmm. been down post office road yeah. before but it is in uh, the section is in is in rough shape yeah mm -hmm. um, we do have what five inches going in five inches of pavement going in there's five inches going in on the reclaimed section and three and three quarters on the mill and pavement all right so that right. section so we're gonna we're basically gonna, we're gonna buzz out three three basically four inches of blacktop and pavo and basically repave it hmm. that's all we're doing in that on post office side now this is, where are we? oh, this is the beginning of it, I'm sorry. 15 foot lanes is also gonna be part of the bike trail, uh, the, the bike markings that are going down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing is we're connecting all the way from, from the first section where Raffia Road meets the multi-use trail. So we're gonna stencil that like we did Fletcher Road. Okay. So that, that stenciling for a share of the road, bike, uh, bike lane is gonna go from Raffia Road, westerly, all the way to Route 5. Okay. Hmm. That's going to connect. That'll So if you're going easterly, that'll connect to the multi-use path, which eventually is going to connect to Fletcher, which will get you out. So it's going to be one giant, basically, east to west route across the across town. That's what our goal, that's what the goal is. Is hmm. that what those yellow things are on Raffia Road? No? Okay. No. Okay. Nope. Nope. So we're beginning, so we're beginning here's Oliver Road, we're 300 feet west. Uh, west of that, uh, pretty mm -hmm. straightforward. There's just tons of tops. The tops are just destroyed mm -hmm. through there. I don't know where the uh, where, uh, these are all. 
stop through here. Just keep, you know, again, replacing the, the structures. We're fortunately in good condition. Some of them are very, uh, there's some unique pipes out there, of high, <laughs> really high, high, high up in the catch basins. Very shallow. Yeah, they're mm. like right in the, like right up in the top. Yeah. New curb, are you going to do new curbs? Both new sides? curbs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're going to come in through here. Again, all these little notes that you see here, these are all just, just tops, 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 and we're all, again, replacing all that stuff just to kind of clean them up. Again, most of that we just can't because of the drainage, the, the pipes, I don't know, because of the hydrology of the area, the pipes are again, if you pull up the, the grate, basically the pipe, the top right of the there. pipe is right there. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. So we do have some silt fence going in. Uh, this is uh, this is the 91 overpass right here on the okay, yep. So on the left side, if you're going down post, there's, it'll be all silt fence going all the way around. And we are going to be cleaning up this intersection, and we're going to do some grading improvements, but I'll show you through that. And this is just another the cross section again. We're going to take in three and a half or four inches of material out, putting four inches back in again. And it ends about 350 feet east of that, of Route 5. Now, this section here, again, we're going to be proposing putting in, we'll get to that. I think uh, there's going to be a catch basin over here now, and there's going to be another one here. There's already one here, and we're going to put another one so that this whole intersection mm -hmm. is going to be picked up. We also have to pick it up to get grade to get through that, yeah. to get the water to flow. Another interesting thing is that because the grades are so shallow to get the water, when we have to go with two twin smaller pipes, because we can't put in one 15 inch mm -hmm. pipes, we have to put in two tens and run them across because we don't have any cover. Wow. Hmm. Very unique situation here. This is just dead flat. There is yeah. just, there's no vertical, there's nothing out there to help us push the water around. So we have to make our own. So we're pulling and pushing, you know, and yeah. doing that kind of stuff like that. Hmm. Here's the silt fence going on post road. Uh, this is again, this is the 91 overpass. We're uh, up in the top of the screen. And we're gonna be basically going all the way around to Phoenix. This right. is that area where it's where you're gonna have it. Let's see the cat tail loop in. Mm. And this is through Phoenix. We're gonna pick up, we're gonna clean up that Phoenix intersection. There's a lot of traffic that comes through here, uh, mm. fire department and the like, and we're all in coordination and concert working with them, uh, their needs. Please try to get again during all, all this construction while it happens. So it's going to be interesting coordination part of it. Oh, yeah. yeah, coming through there. Mm. Yep. So we do again our standards. Here we go. Our standards. <laughs> <laughs> our standards. Thank so you. the good part about this project is we're not really going out further than what's already there. Maybe maybe a foot from the footprint that's already out there now. So we're not really going Expanded. out that far. The reclamation, again, saves time, saves uh, money, be done a lot quicker, and hopefully the impacts will be like, um, and the milling and paving is very simple to go buzz that off in a day, and it's just mm -hmm. very, very rapid. Mm -hmm. Should be a rapid project. Mm -hmm. We are doing storm drain and replacing all the tops, all the curb, all that kind of stuff like that. If we have to rebuild things where we have items in there to rebuild it if something fails as they go by it, or if they don't, once they take the top off, if they can't, if it's really, Bad, then we'll either replace it or rebuild it. So right. we do have we do have the things in the contract, right. um, and there is no wetlands impacts and to the tributary either. It's just that we can we were in that wet soils area, um, can't avoid it. You know, <laughs> we, just, we just can't avoid that area with wet soils and, and the like. So, but again, we're not really impacting anything with this type of project. It's a lot different. Right, it feels a lot different than the other right. ones where we're you know we're really. Disrupting things. Hmm. It's going to be an inconvenience. There's no. I'm not. I'm not saying this is. You're going to be flying through here. It, you fly through when it's done. But you know, it's, it's going to be less yeah. of an inconvenience yeah. than the and full reconstruction. Down, yeah. The full reconstruction jobs. Hmm. So we are working on that corner. Uh, we do on the, on the drawings. You can just yeah. see that whole intersection is completely changed in regards from the drainage point of view and hydrology mm -hmm. point of view to get that water out of there flat. We created our own yeah. grade. Jeff was working with that for a while just to figure out a way to get that water to... That'll be anything would be an improvement, but that looks like a very good one. Yeah. I noticed it on the plans. We looked into cutting down that, teeing up that intersection a little more, mm -hmm. but the turning radius is just, just could not get the turning radius is to work, taking a right to go yeah. up post mm -hmm. office. It'd be nice to choke that down a little bit and mm -hmm. get rid of some impervious out there, mm -hmm. but that, it mm -hmm. just doesn't work uh, with turning movements. It just doesn't work yeah. with that. Mm -hmm. So... Hmm. So, question. Question. Jeff is readily available. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions? No. 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 Questions. 
right. No questions. That's you, Joe. All right. I move that we approve XIW number 17-23 for the reconstruction and reclamation of the post and post office roads with our standard conditions. Second. Second. Roll call. Donna. Yes. Kevin. Yes. Ginny. Yes. Uh, Marie. Yes. Kelly. Yes. Marcy. Yes. Six in favor. Motion passes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Next. Next. <laughs> Next. <laughs> We're heading for the home store. Yeah. <laughs> XIW 17-24, Thompsonville Southeast Road Reconstruction Project, application for roadway construction of Laurel Street, College Street, Pleasant Street, and Hartford Avenue, Town of Enfield, Owner App, Residential 33, Residential 44, Business Local Zones. Hi. Hey. We got two new people. <laughs> we have two. They can go right ahead. I'm not. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Welcome. All righty. This is uh, another one of JT's projects, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. It was your big time. Oh, yeah. For the record. Yeah. <laughs> For the record. <laughs> so this project has, uh, similar to the Bridge Lane project, this has a sewer component to it. Mm -hmm. On College Street and Pleasant Street only, not on the wall. So with this, again, it is kind of a larger project downtown. Mm. Um, it's gonna, it's always tougher working in Thompsonville. Mm, it's yeah. snugger. It's, everything is just squishy, tight, <laughs> snug. And you just can't turn, and there's, yeah. you know, the the walks or the side the sidewalks are on the road, and it's just mm -hmm. it's just a different kind of environment. But we are doing a significant amount, almost basically 28 miles of yeah. of reconstruction through there. We are reducing the impervious by 5,000 square feet. Mm. Um, Doing our best with that, we're trying to. We know we can help stay on this for part of it too. So we're yeah. trying to reduce some things down. New curbing throughout, and again, our standard catch bay. Again, some of the things we're talking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We are adding two new catch basins. We're replacing 21 that are just mm -hmm. not in good condition. We're adding a drain manhole, turf establishment, the usual things. 43 silt sacks, silt sacks, thousand linear feet of silt fence, and again, our use of DMPs throughout. So this project is kind of spread out. It, it's not again. <coughs> again, here's Laura. So here's um, here's Alden Ave. Here's uh, Russo's. This is Russo's bakery yard. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pizza place right over here. So you come down. You have to actually go down Parker Street. And this is Laurel. This is a. Uh, this really is a. It's a uh, fire access only. So you have to you have to access Laurel from Parker Street. Um, yeah. So it's a dead end. We call this act at the end of it. So we're doing that section, and we're doing cottage. I mean, College Street from Church to Lincoln, which is really snug yeah. through yep. there. Yes, and we're doing is. Pleasant from Whitworth to the cemetery. Mm. Wow. These two will have the sewer components done to and to okay. because of the condition of the pipe. Uh, WPCA again found the money for that, and again, this is entirely funded through. WPCA and has no impact on the road 2015, <laughs> <road> 2015 <laughs> referendum or the like. So I just want them to be abundantly clear. Yeah. And the reason we're here is. has got that right. <laughs> and the reason why we're here is up in the upper right hand corner is this section of kind of wet soils up mm -hmm. and through here. It's mm. not avoiding, I mean, it's this one little small little. Small little spot. Small mm. spot. Yeah, because you always see that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we do have some, um, I can't think of the name right now. Hmm. I can't think of the name of this, why it's red. Look at the red color, and I can't think of the name of it. But anyways, yeah. these are wet soils, and I forgot what that was called. Escarpments. Escarpments, yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm getting fatigued. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> getting fatigued. Yeah, so, yes, thank you, Jen. No, thank you. So there's nothing, or basically nothing around, except for getting up on right the upper right corner. corner. Yeah. Yep. And this is again the FEMA flood map. There's uh, we, although it's again the wet soil is up in there. We do understand it's up there. We're not coming anywhere near the flood zones. We're so we're out of it. It's just mm -hmm. that again the soils has just crept forward. Mm -hmm. So this is on College Street. It's only 20 feet at best. We're doing we're putting down four inches because it's again it's a it's not like this heavy truck traffic. Simple thing. Um, Four inches that we have. We're also going down 12 inches below, so 12 inches and four 16 inches down through that area, replacing a full reconstruction, full curbing. Mm -hmm. uh, we have this is granite curbing, correct? Yes. Yeah. 
it's all granite curving through here too. So try to keep the same what people have before we don't go down, stay with what they have. So that and these roads are mm. significantly yeah. bad. What also is bad again, the granite curving is just in just poor shape. The sidewalks are even in poorer shape again because they're patches that we don't really do with concrete, so we patch with blacktop and just kind of get them through and whatever. Mm -hmm. So, so do you fix the sidewalks? Yes, the sidewalks mm -hmm. will be done as part of that as well. Is it going to be blacktop? No, concrete. Nice. Yep. So the curbs are is it replace or re also reset? Oh, yeah. Reset, but okay. some portions will have to be replaced. Okay. Yeah, there's some chunkers taken out of like yeah, that one yeah. there. You've just got to, you know, you got to just reuse what we have. Flip it over. <laughs> yeah. So, again, back to the again, adding and drainage, as you can see here, these are the ones, I know it may be hard to see from where you're standing, but we're setting, this is, these are newer section, this is newer, this is new. So all these sections, again, we're adding more things, pick up more water, get rid of that, stop that standing thing. Again, there's a lot of that just run on, just, just destroys the pavement after a while. Um, that's the same slide actually that this is the sewer system that again we're going to be replacing that at the same time again just because it's going to be sense. it's tight through there there's a lot of excavation we do have detour plans we have a full set of things going around because with this road only being 20 feet or so uh, yeah. there's no way for an excavator mm. can dig down that deep and have get by so we yeah. have we have a full set of Detour plans are working oh, with yeah. with the police department and the whole thing to get people around, and it's going to be quite the logistical. It's going to be complicated logistically to get people in and out of there during the day. And again, knowing that the depths of the sewer, yeah. mm -hmm. I don't know, some of the deeper depths, maybe eight, ten feet, or yes, yeah, or, about that. Wow. Mm -hmm. But ten feet on an air on a road that's twenty feet wide. Yeah. Any, you know, that's <laughs> yeah. not much room for much of anything else, and so um, that's added on to this compounding that that working in Thompsonville tight area um, and again with that being deep and we also have utility conflicts which are being you know everything mm. is in there so hmm. Pleasant Street's going to be 11 feet or I mean so it's wow. 11 feet on each lane or 10 and a half so we're going to actually gaining a foot so it's going to be 21 feet wide I mean it's, but still right. it's really nothing heading towards the cemetery wow. again mm. the same basic uh, profile 4 inches over 12 so mm. taking down 16 inches and it's in tough shape. Yeah. But in Laurel Street, Laurel Street's about to, that's going to be twenty six feet typical, right? Twenty six feet yeah. through. Um, new curbing, similar similar profile again. They all have basically similar profile. Mm -hmm. Oops. And again, this we replaced mm. the walks. They're just in really tough bad shape. shape. The road is just beyond. Again, here's where that those wet soils were taken into account through there. A lot of new drainage. Everything in black is new. And again, here's where the kind of old section and new section of Laurel meet. Uh -huh. Where the new subdivision came in, regulations came in. It's yeah. definitive mm. line right through there. So, <laughs> so we're gonna do our best to match it to that and then continue mm -hmm. it on. Again, with Laurel, some more catch basins, and again, just some really mm. nasty yep. pavement. Basically, same similar alignments. I don't know how much is. I don't think there's anything much changing for vertical alignments or whatever. Everything's just basically yeah. staying yeah. in. I mean, it's been narrowed a little bit on the northern part of the road, but we're close about the same. So is it Laurel where we're, we're losing most of the impervious? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because so we're going to go try to match up back to. Right. Yeah, like this kind of flares out and gets a little wider. Yeah. So yeah, it sort of just gradually gets wider and wider. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we kind of pick a number that kind of best that's kind of a best fit number because mm -hmm. we don't you don't want to be you don't want to be adding pavement here and taking taking a little bit there. So we kind of we figure out a best a best fit through there. Mm -hmm. In the southern parts, of all twenty six varieties. So just mm -hmm. What happens to the tree? The tree? Did we lose that tree? What tree? Oh, that one. No, it'll be, yeah. the row would be gain. Hopefully okay. It's, we can handle this. Right. Mm. Yep, that's another good thing about narrowing a row. We yeah, stay, yeah. stay a little farther yep. away from from the, tree. the from the trees. Do you guys use any kind of protection for in a case like that with the trees? Like right here. Yeah. We have used root barriers before, uh, basically like steel steel plates, yep. uh, it, almost like road plates, if you will. But right. Yeah, we put them in. The, we've done that. Um, other than that, I don't know if we any other techniques that we've used. Local, I mean, locally, uh, I mean. yeah, we're not planning on for this project. 
I would be concerned with a tree that close to the, the sidewalk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks for that. <coughs> Yeah, we'll have to. Yeah, I think trimming the roots maybe um, for replacing that part of the sidewalk. You know, you see any weeding at all? Mm. Yeah, we can we can easily add in roots. You know, uh, that's just not to protect the trail yeah, a little bit. Yeah. You know, in, yeah. in the contract, that's really not. I mean, that's a standard line item. We can just throw okay. that in there, and if right. we have to, yeah. um, that's okay. not a big deal. You can lose a lot of the roots as long as the important ones stay. Like the, the ones that feed out, they aren't that as important as the main root is. No, that's misnomer. Really? Yeah, that's not true. You need the big ones for support, and you need yeah. the smaller, finer ones to grab to yeah. pick up the water. Ah. So the fibrous roots, which are like just the net, like the, oh. the, that's the one that draws up the water, and the, main, oh. the, the larger yeah. roots provide the anchoring and the support yeah. for the tree. So you can... You can cut right next to them for up to a certain point. I mean, you got to if you're just if you're pulling out a lot of the little fibrous roots, that's different than pulling out some big, big ones like that. Oh, and yeah, now yeah. you're severing one side, which oh, no, tends to treat them that way. So, yeah. mm. but they do again, they do provide some root protection if it is growing out on the street. We have we can easily put something in there to Protect. to stop that from continuing to grow on the street. Right. Now the sidewalk, maybe a different story. If we may be able to have to move that around, we we don't we'll have to look at. If that particular instance, I don't know what address that is, but we'll have, we can certainly look to see if we have to. We can come up and over it and yep. build up up and over it if yep. we have to. I'm just looking at their property. That they would probably be a concern for them, especially. I, I don't know the people, but um, yeah. The first yeah. the first step with some of that though is we we reach out in a case like that. Sometimes the people want their trees removed okay. mm -hmm. which would help the situation um, even that is those are town trees based yeah, upon yeah, that yeah, yeah. some people have some heartburn about yeah, removing yeah. them <laughs> but some people say yeah, thank take goodness them, can you, can you get rid of these trees for me please I'm, sure I'm, you know, I'm, I'm getting older yeah. I'm tired of cleaning yeah, yeah, up the leaves yeah, yeah. I don't feel like doing this anymore can you get rid of them mm -hmm. yeah. you know so we can start with that we can do some uh, recon with the, with the people like that mm -hmm. if they're still interested in that and if they do we'll have some hmm. um, excellent yeah. We'll come up with we'll come up with a solution to, to yeah, say what that's, we can. That's fair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you've seen these before. Yeah, we've seen <laughs> these before. We saw those. Yeah, we, yeah. All, we know those. We know. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> yep. Okay. Now my public service announcement for the sewer replacement on yes. College and Pleasant. It is going <laughs> to... <laughs> it's not part of the road project. It is. Thank you. <laughs> we are going to do it concurrently. Uh, we're hoping to provide an economy of scales uh, with the, both the roads referendum and WPC, and it is 100% fully funded Ready? design, inspection, and construction through WPC in a separate account that has no effect on the roads 2015 <laughs> referendum. Now, is that for the other ones as well? Yes, it yes, is. Yes, oh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. He said so it every time. <laughs> yes, I just I want him. He's going to okay. mention it every time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm save him. So with that, again, we are doing 1,590 feet of sewer main and eight new sewer manholes and at least at least 35 replacement house laterals. We don't know the exact number because you check them or so. because some of them because the information in Thompsonville is extremely limited. <laughs> yeah. And the only thing we have are spot repairs from the last 20 or 30 years. We don't know where those lines go. There's so many people that, so many homes that go out in ways that you would never think would go out. They go out the back of the house, they go out the mm -hmm. sides, they go into their neighbor's house, they kind of go around. And it's scary. So at a minimum, we are going to be replacing the house laterals and we're going to be putting them up to the right-of-ways. So even if they go out the back, there's going to be new ones put up to the right-of-way so they can connect into them at a later point. Mm -hmm. So we can get everybody going into the street at one time. Mm -hmm. So that's part of that whole process. That was uh, the investigative process is really exhausting on that and the lack of information just compounds that problem yeah. that we just don't know. I mean, you can die test. You put the dye in the toilet and you flush and you, you're, you're expecting it out here and then all of a sudden, you know, the guy... The street over, radios in. I found it. <laughs> it doesn't even look like it can flow that way, but it does. So that's Thompsonville. But yeah. you know. mm -hmm. so that's what we're doing again. Completely mm. funded by them. Okay, complete reconstruction. Roads are just mashed. Mm -hmm. Similar things, hoods, mm. stumps, and again, we have no. Mm. There are no impacts. Mm -hmm. There are some wet soils again up in that northerly section, but we're dealing with them. Um, mm -hmm. 
accordingly with the gravel and other things, and we will look into the trees. The mm -hmm. trees, uh, I wish. So, any questions for? Nope. So it's on the record. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah, we would put it in as a. Um, we have our standard standard conditions, okay. and then any additional conditions. Would you like me to send you what we found or what we talked to? We like we'd like a letter at some point later on what our decision is to do that. What we've done. Yeah. Would you like something as simple as this? And we reached out to yeah. we reached out to the resident. The resident asked great. to remove the yep. trees, and now we're gonna yeah. now we're gonna remove the trees. Yeah. Or Perfect. or if the resident wants yeah. to keep the trees, yeah, we'll work with it. We'll yeah. come what up with measures, our if any, you're I can send a letter to, to the you know to the commission. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, that would be great. That'd be okay. great. All right, then I move that we approve XIW number 17-24 for the full depth reconstruction of roadways and sidewalks and replacement of catch basement tops. In Thompsonville Southeast, uh, with the uh, condition that um, affected trees uh, will be discussed with the homeowner and appropriate measures taken, um, and of course our standard conditions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Second. Okay. Roko? Donna? Yes. Kevin? Yes. Ginny? Yes. Marie? Yes. Kelly? Yes. Marcy? Yes. Six in favor, motion passes. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you gentlemen. Thank you. Okay. You want to take a drink or something? Or? <laughs> <laughs> take a break. That's cute. <laughs> okay, next on the agenda. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you may. Yeah. Is XIW 17-25? Yeah. 17-25 Green Manor. North Road Reconstruction Project, application for roadway construction, including storm drainage improvements, new curbing, and driveway recon reconstruction of Hunter Lane, Brett Lane, Sherman Road, Rogers Lane, Brewster, Brewster? Yeah, yeah. Brewster. Brewster Road, Hale Road, Marion Place, and Morgan Place. Town of Enfield, owner, applicant, residential, R33, zone R33. Yeah. I'm down back in a minute. Hi. Welcome. Hello. Good, thanks. How are you? Good. 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 You Last can, but not least. Yes. <laughs> I was gonna say you can give your name to the to the recording I'm secretary. I'm Paulie Stefano from my Lone Mac Brewing. Okay. <coughs> Welcome. <coughs> Paul De Stefano. Yeah. Okay, this is what seventeen twenty five. That must be under here somewhere. Well. <laughs> I got them all stacked at my yeah. feet. <laughs> So right now, I'm more like the dog in the middle right now. <laughs> so. Okay. All right. Last one, folks. Yay. Again, You're Donald. doing a very good job. Yeah. Paul. <laughs> Paul from my own image. This is JP Project. We're doing Green Manor North. This is another um, Colony Acres significant, massive project uh, mm. in the area. Yeah. Yes. Considering we, we did three streets in Green Manor South yep. this year, we're doing last the rest. year. That's amazing. Mm. Yeah, we're doing a lot. So this wow. one is 1.95 miles of roadway to be a complete reconstruction, Oof. unfortunately. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, we did look at, again, reclamation like we talk about. We charged them to go. That, that's the first thing is to do that, see if that can do it. We just couldn't do it. So mm. now we're going to. For now we're going to be going back to full reconstruction, but we're also going to be choking the roads down to all the roads to be 26 feet, yes. Yes. which is a significant Currently reduction in impervious. Long. We're almost at an acre of reduce of reducing right. impervious. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, with again because again there's no reason to have it that wide in that area, and it's, it's working yeah. for us. Uh, hmm. Another interesting thing about Green Manor North is that I don't remember the exact year that the council came up with that we're going to be removing sidewalks from one side of the street. Because yeah. what, what currently exists now, I don't know if you've been in Green Manor um, lately or not, if you notice when you drive down Green Manor, the, there's, there's the road, then there's the sidewalk. It's similar to Lake Thompsonville thing. So when you go and plow a 30-foot road, mm -hmm. there's a significant amount of snow that just gets piled up and people just cannot handle that kind of snow. Mm. Mm. So what we're doing is getting rid of the council decided back. I, I don't know the year. They decided to remove sidewalks on one side. And yeah. there's a whole plan that we've instituted that while we're working on these streets in Green Manor, mm -hmm. 
that either the easterly side goes. So now what we're doing is creating a snow <coughs> shelf and moving that in so there's actually a place to dump the snow that's reasonable for the people who still maintain the sidewalks. They don't have to deal with this much snow mm. anymore. How did they decide this side? Yeah. I wasn't here for that. This was back uh, several decades, oh. a couple decades ago. But we do have that plan upstairs in our office that yeah. it was a, a fully formulated plan by council that council derived that plan saying we're going to take the easterly side of this one or normally this one, whatever it is. So wow. that's what we're doing, working with in here too, is us removing that and shortening up the roads and creating mm -hmm. snow shelves so people don't have to deal <coughs> with what they have to deal with. Oh, that's great. Hmm. There are going to be curbing everywhere. And again, our standards. But <laughs> mm -hmm. We've seen all that. Oh, We've yeah. got 14 yep. new catch basins. Ooh, 57. 57 replacements throughout the year. Wow. Yeah, this isn't uh, this isn't a small project. No. So this is a significant mm. project. Is this, cool. you think, in a year on this one, too? Or less? Nine months. Nine months? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Construction season. Trying to get it done. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm. it's, you know, it's nice because it's a neighborhood. Yeah. You're not really dealing with too much traffic. It's... Uh, Mm -hmm. We're trying to get it done in that we always can go a little later, but we, we still would like to try to get that done. Our goal is to get these out within the next couple, within the next month on the street. Mm -hmm. right. So we go open up the bids, and if there's something that's out of whack, or again, if we can, yeah. so that way, snow breaks, you can we can start, start digging. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we're not waiting, or whatever it is. Like, you know, like the pavement preservation project, that can wait. We, that's not really, we yeah. can wait. That, that goes quick. This project, Colony Acres is going to take And a you're long setting time. a cot up upstairs, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, yes, that's JP's project. So. Last year you've been JP's. Yes. Right, yes. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing our sedimentation control, the 80 silt sacks going in throughout 600 feet of fence, mm. silt fence. So here it is. Mm. So this is Taylor Road. Uh, there's Taylor Road right here. Yeah. We did certain. We did Columbia and Northfield. This is down on that side, yeah. on the southern mm -hmm. side. So mm -hmm. you know, we're doing all these streets that are in purple through here. Mm -hmm. It is a significant mm -hmm. road. At least that, at least here, they can get around. It's not like Thompsonville mm -hmm. where it's, mm -hmm. you know, there's, there's several ways you can get to your home, although inconvenienced, you'll still mm -hmm. be able to get there. Thompsonville's a little different in working and depths and things like that. So at least here, we can get people around and whatever. But again, we're still impacting a significant part of that neighborhood, that entire yeah. neighborhood. Mm -hmm. <coughs> There's one section through here. That's it. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yep. Then go ahead. I was just going to say, I noticed, um, you know, when I was looking at the, at the information that um, we're going to be replacing like 34 catch basins. Something like that. Uh, 40, 40, 50, 50, 57. 57. And four drain manholes. Where does that? All drain into goes to the brook. Terry, Terry Brook. Is it Terry? Yeah. No. Yep. Terry. Yep. I don't know where the outfall. Yeah. The outfall is right south. It's where it <laughs> It's right here. <coughs> right here. Hmm. So that'll do a lot to clean it up, right? You oh, won't yeah. get as much. <laughs> no, you won't. We're adding basins to collect more water. That will, that will essentially increase your stormwater treatment, yeah. sediment control. Um, we're increasing some pipe sizes as well to help with the stormwater management. Yeah. Um, it's all that it's stuff definitely a huge improvement. That's great. There's some the, flat spots yeah. out there, some drainage yeah. issues out there. Yeah, um, I'm sure Terry Brook will appreciate it. Oh yeah, <laughs> mm. of course. Mm. Thank you. Let me get it back to the wet soils. Mm -hmm. It's carpet, so not, not impacted there. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the FEMA map. Uh, again, we're you know, all of our project areas in through here. We're not in any flood zone. We're outside of all that. We're outside of that area here, just based upon that. Uh, yards leave 26, um, 26 feet across in four inches, begin because it's residential. It's similar to Colony Acres. Four inches of pavement, which is our typical and six inches of aggregate, process aggregate over eight inches. So we're going to be digging um, 14 and 18 inches down. Again, pavement, not, mm -hmm. not too good through here. Mm -hmm. uh, this is one of the only spots here that we have actually have sidewalk where there's a snow shelf. Mm -hmm. It's really mm -hmm. interesting to, to pick that up. But again, all these areas, 
again, catch basins, replacements, they're just, you can just see all over the place, we're just littered with doing it. Mm -hmm. um, this is another newer section here that, again, we're not going to be touching, I don't believe we're touching mm -hmm. that, no. Uh, so we're going to keep this snow shelf, because it was built in a different way that, than, than the others. Again, the vertical alignments are nearly the same. Again, we're just choking, mm -hmm. we're choking that down. Not much vertical change either, right? Um, there's not much. There's not much. You know, we made some minor, minor changes to help with drainage slopes. You know, there's some real flat areas out there. We're just trying to achieve at least a minimum, you know, half percent roadway slope, um, but very minor, very minor. Yeah, our minimum standard is half half percent, mm -hmm. which is almost nothing to begin right. with. So we got to sometimes pull. You got to come up six inches here and yeah, cut yeah. over here to make just to make you know half percent we try to yeah. do as much as we can so again catch basins on all the corners picking up stuff and Mary, just the roads the roads are just is that concrete mm. curb on some of it or is that it's no it just dri <coughs> drives down no, well, it's no there's con it's, right there, there's yeah, concrete. It's, a, it's a mix yeah. there's some bituminous some concrete the, the curving out there yeah. you can barely see yeah. a lot of it it's not really doing much so it's been paved over to it, so yeah. again, you're, you're losing that reveal, yeah, and in yeah. some spots, yeah. there's almost nothing, nothing there. Look at all the junk in the catch space. Yeah. 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 Over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so with the little, you know, again, with that curb reveal being so low, when we go with the plows and you're finding the curb, you just, yep. you're just Mash destroying it. that curb mm -hmm. even more, and just <coughs> exacerbating the problem, yep, and it just yep, keeps yep. going and going, mm -hmm. so. A lot of work, catch space in this. Drainage. Mm, it's yeah. just littered through. I mean, you can see all throughout yeah. your plans and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know why that wasn't there. In newer section. Yeah. But again, same thing. Pavement is in a variety of uh, stages of distress and disrepair, and it's just really time. Everything 26. I think that's the take-home point here. Again, this is uh, this is typical here. We're gonna you see that again the. The yeah. sidewalk is yeah. right on top of the roadway again. Yeah. You know, you come when you're plowing and you're dumping all that snow over there. That these people here get not too happy. Get all the snow. Yeah. You know, yeah. get you get 15 feet of snow. Yeah. And these yeah. people don't. So what we're doing is we're moving again. We're moving that over, moving that, creating a snow shelf. So it'll, it's going to help eliminate that problem. Hmm. And again, catch basins on the corners. Our typicals. Yep. Yeah. Seen those before? We've seen those before because we're, <laughs> we're trying. Not a penny. We're trying. So again, we are going to. Some, unfortunately, again, we're reconstructing. We wish we could do reclamation. We can't, but there's no way of avoiding it. Reconstructing all these streets, mm -hmm. um, storm drain improvements, like Paul was saying. A lot of things that we're doing out there from the current condition to, to, to catch basins themselves. Some of them are just, you know, they're barely hanging out yeah. right now. So mm -hmm. we're. All that stuff is leaking out, and mm -hmm. so we're not really capturing and moving it and cleaning it as it should be. It should be. And mm -hmm. we're not impacting any any wetlands or Terry Brook at the site. If anything, we're again we're actually improving it. So, hmm. so any questions? Paul's mm -hmm. readily available. Yes. Yeah. Waited all night. He's waited asking the question. <laughs> oh, we asked him during the yes, during your presentation. <coughs> during the presentation. <laughs> All right, I move that we approve XIW number 17-25 for the reconstruction and uh, of <coughs> and storm drainage improvements along Hunter Lane, Brett Lane, Sherman Road, Rogers Lane, Brewster Road, Hale Road, Marion Place, and Morgan Place with our standard conditions. Second. Hmm. Roll call. Donna. Yes. Kevin. Yes. Ginny, yes. Marie. Yes. Kelly. Yes. Marcy. Yes. Six in favor, motion passes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank nice you job. Nice job. Nice job. <laughs> oh, <look at that. laughs> I love it. Great presentations. <laughs> See, when you come yeah. prepared, it's so yeah. easy. To and and they always we, send down because yeah. they We've know. We've said it before, <laughs> but um, I think it bears saying again that just I think we all appreciate how much yes. care you guys take when you're designing these and making sure that you do what's best for the town and the wetlands and yeah. um, areas try to and improve the neighbors. things. So, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Our engineering department does very good. Awesome. Job. Yes, they do. Yeah. Very nice presentations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. All right, cool. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.
You done? We're done. You could always sit around for the rest of it. Okay. Just the humor has not changed at all. No, that's I good. I love it. Okay. <coughs> oh, turn it over. Next on the agenda is applications to be received. IW588, 243 Shaker Road, application for modification of wetlands permit for the construction of three additional sand towers, Yankee Casting Company Incorporated, owner applicant, map 95, lot 6, industrial zone 2I2 zone. Okay, we did receive the application today, so we'll be discussing it at our next meeting. Mm -hmm. So make sure everybody brings it back. Yeah. Okay, we don't need to blow that. Mm -mm. Um, determination of permit need is none. Reports of officers and committees. I don't, have, anything? I I don't have a report, but I do have one question that I forgot to ask at the beginning. Okay. Um, there's a very large excavator uh, at that old closed down gas station between the, the corner of Hazard, on the corner of Hazard Avenue and Broadbrook Road. Are they doing anything? Are they going to like take out the tanks or? Was that like? Like towards like Skidico? Yeah, it's on the left hand side uh, as you're heading towards Summers. Uh, right hand side, I'm saying left hand. Right hand side as you're heading towards Summers. Uh, it's the like first the light track? after the railroad tracks. Across from the Dunkin' Donuts? No. So, no. No. Before it? Yeah. Or before it. Might be across. The point is, you can't miss it. It's humongous. They're the ones that they haven't been. Um, they haven't been. Um, it's been closed for a long time. Yeah, the guy that wanted to put the CVS drugstore. Are you talking about the old yeah. mobile station? No. It's on the right hand side. It was the uh, corner right. of Hazard Avenue and Broadbrook Road. By Danny's Pizza? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I did yeah. see that. Yes. And I thought to myself, it's been moved, it's been <coughs> repositioned yep. a couple times, but I thought. I yeah. wonder if that's not, they're just putting it there because, don't forget, they were taking out the dam. So no, might, no, no, that one's down in the river on the little Yeah, bay. but I wonder no. if there's, it's just there's maybe associated. No. Nope. Nope. Mm -mm. I did see that there. I do know what you're talking about. Do you know what yeah. she's talking about? Well, I haven't been out there, but it's uh, You might want to ask Jeff Rick or Rick. someone. <laughs> Jeff or yeah. Rick. <laughs> yeah. I, I, just, I told Rick that you missed it. You guys miss him. Yeah, we do. Yes. He hasn't been here in a That's while. Okay. Um, <laughs> you know, I don't think they're doing this it. Is they haven't done anything. They're, they're just sitting there. Well, that's what makes yeah. me nervous. Yeah. They're very they're creative in their uses of the yeah. property that yeah. they own. So. Yes. Now, I don't think that they're <clears throat> on wetlands, but, you know, that leakage, you know, if the tanks mm. are leaking or anything like that and they just go away mm. in the, on a weekend. Yeah, that might oh, be yeah. close to the so, river there. I'm just concerned. I hope... Kevin's right and I'm wrong, but I don't, uh, you know, hmm. it's an awfully old excavator. Yep. It's huge, yeah. but it's old and yeah. it's not well maintained, so hmm. wouldn't mind anything right. leaking anywhere. Yep. There's an excavator. Yeah. Yeah. And we can't do anything about the state leaving the uh, big one in yeah. the middle of the, where they took the dam down, they yeah. left the, uh, I think it's an excavator, but they left the big, huge, sitting on a little sandbar. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> It'd be interesting to see how they get that one out. Yeah, I would think they're going back to it. Yeah, <laughs> I saw that myself. On yeah. Big um, crane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Next on the agenda is report from the planning director's office. Um, as of right now, the only thing on the agenda is 243 Shaker Road for next time. Mm -hmm. okay. um, they came to you before for a sand tower, and now they more sand towers. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, business is up. Um, yeah. Other than that, we have just King Street, which mm -hmm. that continues. That continues. Continued. And other than that, we don't have any other applications. Okay. You took care of the calendar dates last time. No, you just said January, I guess. Yeah. <coughs> um, how about enforcement updates? Do we have any enforcement yeah. updates? Like uh, Potter Hill Sand and Gravel? That's still the town attorney. They're still working that through. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. we're, working I mean, uh, I believe town attorney updates Rick on that. Um, we do get uh, letters. We get the, the emails, but the updates. Yeah, that's whatever, whatever you've been emailed is yeah. really mm -hmm. what, what are the updates. 
for it. It's um, really it's mostly handled yeah. down oh, oh, yeah. now. Oh, yeah. Okay. But I don't. I haven't. He did it on Powder Hill. No, I haven't seen. One on I haven't seen one on Powder Hill. I've seen the. Uh, Not recently. I've Not seen recently. the post office, post road yeah. gentleman. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well. <coughs> Excuse me. Tell Rick not only do we miss him, we miss his updates. Yeah. That's yeah. right. We'll get. We'll get. I'll have him um, come visit us. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> including uh, the new one we got today. The, yeah. A uh, couple actually. Yeah, the couple. Okay. With the um, metro, the people who spoke earlier. Yeah. Mm. The metro north. The land yep. Land yep. clearing. The equipment. Yeah. Although you don't need a permit. To, this is not wetlands, but you don't need a permit to clear your land as long as it's not in wetlands. You know, you don't have to pull a building right. permit or right, a right, planning right. permit. Yeah. So as long as it's not in wetlands right. or near it. Hmm. Upland. Upland review areas. Mm -hmm. um, old business, the 2018 calendar meeting dates. We never approved them. Yeah, I think she sent it to us. And it was um, the first and third, unless there was a holiday, right? Yeah. 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 So we're yep. looking at the first and third yep. of the of all the. And stuff. I thought that was great. Yeah. So, so what are we looking at? It was our in normal your, meetings, yeah. first and third. It was in your packet. So what it has been? But we have to vote on it. Yeah, we have to vote to see. Right? So, because um, just because I missed the last meeting, because before that we had discussed wanting to change the date, the day. Yeah, no. So we decided yeah, no. not to? Yeah. 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 Is it our bylaws and everything for the yeah. third and the yeah. 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 bylaws? It messes, I have other up, meetings, so it messes up the uh, sequence. They did this for a reason a long time ago. Um, if it's on a Thursday and it gets approved and it's really important, they can go right into Thursday yeah. and get approval from planning and zoning. But if you change it, to yeah, another week, week or another day, it messes up the flow. So, okay. so, so it was just a suggestion yeah. for our meetings that get um, yeah. hmm. kind of funky when council. Yeah, like tonight. Well, like tonight, yeah. 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 So but the, the ZBA meets on Mondays, and um, they they have to come down here, and they do it always. Hmm. So yeah, yeah. Hmm. so we need okay. a uh, motion. Oh, I move that we approve. What was in our packet for the calendar year for 2018? For choosing for our regular. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'll second it. Good. Okay. Second. Donna. Yes. Kevin. Yes. Ginny. Yes. <coughs> Marie. Yes. Kelly. Yes. Marcy. Yes. Okay. Six in favor. Motion passes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Adjourn. Oh, I move to adjourn. <laughs> Second. Second. Everybody, yes. Meetings okay. adjourned. Yes. Yep. <laughs>